So today we are going to organize my drugstore makeup collection. So you saw me declutter my eyeshadows over here. Here's where I keep all of my drugstore makeup and I really need to organize it. Let me show you. So I have everything already organized by category, but it is utter chaos. So we're going to try and make it look a little bit more organized. And by the way, you're gonna be staring at these hands. I just got pink eye this weekend if you missed it. So of course I got it right when I needed my nails done. So this is what we have to work with. Don't wanna get any nail tech sick. Let's go ahead and get into it. So like I said, all of the makeup is already organized mostly by category, but I want to reorganize where everything is placed and also, of course, just make everything look better. So let's get into it. So I placed this order on Amazon. I will have these linked and I got two sets of these organizers. So they come with a lot of different sizes. Let's see, so they have like these sizes and these smaller sizes, which is good for pencils. These guys would be good for some lip organization. So I'll have this link down below. I ordered two, we'll see if I need any more, but I'm gonna use these to help organize the drawers. So starting off with the very top drawer, I have face primers and powders, which I would like to change the placement of the powders. But for now, I'm gonna put all of my face primers in one of these right here. This is the bigger one. So first things first, I'm going to pull all of the face primers and just throw them in here. Now back here, I have all of these powders. I want my powders to go underneath in a lower drawer, so I'm just gonna take these out really quickly. Okay, so face primers are gonna go towards the back because I think I do want to put foundations in front. So... I'm gonna start off with my two primers in these ones right here. So these tend to be more on the hydrating side. So the 2B ones can go here, put them towards the back. And then I'm going to take my Poreless Putty Primers from e.l.f putting them in here. I also do have a Physician Formula one. <gasps> wow, look how perfectly that fit. Ah, it just barely doesn't fit. That's okay, we'll just do this. And then I'm putting my tinted ones, like the e.l.f. Let's see how these fit. Not great, but good enough. We'll just throw this one in here. So that'll be the primers for now. Up here, I want to keep foundation. So I keep my foundations currently right here. So I think I'm gonna leave the bins out because I feel like the foundations don't need a bin. I just kind of want them filling up this area. It was the primers that I wanted to be organized. So I'm just gonna move Oops, I'm gonna move these up and try and organize them by brand. Maybe not brand, but by packaging size. Okay, so I think this will do for now. Obviously, it's not super duper organized, but I'll do a good declutter soon, <laughs> cause I'm definitely gonna have to. Okay, down here, I want to keep my concealers and my powders. So I have all my concealers in the back here. 
I think a lot of them will fit in here. So let's see. Squeezy tube ones can go in here and mini ones. Put all of my elf ones in here. And I also have an elf color corrector. Another elf. Okay, great. And keep in mind, I'm organizing with the intention of decluttering of pretty soon. So if it's not a perfect fit, that's okay. So concealers are here that saved a lot of room. I'm going to organize my powders a bit. So I, I think the long one might be good for some. I have like big ones like these. Let's see. I don't think they're gonna fit anyway, really. Let me put those to the side. Compact ones that can fit here will go in here. Is the drawer still able to close? Yes. Let's do loose setting powders out here at the side. This is a bronzer, okay. <laughs> And then I have kind of the bigger powders here that would be a little bit bigger standing upright. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. The thing that sucks about these Alex drawers is they don't come all the way out. So I'm going to have to reach, but it is what it is. I think this is much less cramped. Okay, so that is this drawer. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? Let's move on to the next. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Okay, so next drawer, we're getting a little random. I do have setting sprays, but I also have random eyebrow products. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the eyebrow products out because I don't want them quite so high. And then setting sprays in general, I'm not really going to put these in a container. I'm just going to push these towards the back. So I'm starting off with the taller ones. And then I want to put the smaller ones on top. So these will stay back here for now. And then I do want to put bronzers here. And the bronzers are not even in this drawer. A lot of my bronzers and highlight I have all the way down here. I should have more bronzers as well in here. So I'm going to have to pull these out. And I'm going to first do cream and powder bronzers in this drawer and see how things are looking. Okay, so I think these are all of my drugstore bronzers. Let's first start off with cream and liquid. What will fit in here, like the stick items. then my powder and liquid bronzers are here as you know a lot of bronzers have bigger packaging so I think that that's good some of you guys are gonna need to come here and help me out and give me some advice because I'm not doing a good job at all okay next up we have this drawer I'm already going to completely take away the eye stuff and you know what I'm thinking I guess it makes sense for me to put the eye stuff on top and then the face stuff in the bottom because the eye stuff is smaller. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna have to definitely shift some drawers around because that makes so much more sense than what I'm doing. So you guys are getting in real time. As much as I want my face stuff on top, it just takes up too much room. So I'm gonna pop all of the eyes. Like these are a mixture of eyeliners and mascaras this is a concealer okay I'm gonna put these up here for now okay we have cream blushes and highlights just to get them all in the same place I'm gonna put all of the cream blushes and highlights in here I have a 
have a lot. So it's like cream highlight, cream highlight, cream, cream. I have a ton of cream blushes in here. Oh, here's some more bronzers. I can go over here for now. Okay, cream blushes and highlights are in here. Let me see how I can organize the drawers. Okay, this is really good, like a liquid cheek drawer. I'm going to keep the She Glam stuff back here. For now, let's see what's next. This drawer is like oddly empty. <laughs> I have some powder highlights. I'm going to see if I can put my powder blushes here. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. Look at this, this powder blush drawer is amazing. I love how this is organized. I have ColourPop back here. I also have some Burt's Bees, Ulta Beauty, Essence, Flower Beauty, ColourPop, Kimchi, Milani, Elf. All of my drugstore powder blushes are here. I think, is that all for powder blushes? Yes, so I think I am going to start some highlights here and then we'll finish the rest of the highlights in the next drawer. Though I am going to actually transfer my face stuff here because I think it makes more sense to keep my face stuff down here. So before I finish highlights, I'm going to move the top drawer stuff down here and Realize I wasted my time organizing that stuff, but it is what it is. So foundations are now going down here, and I just like this better because you can see I can just stand the foundations upright, and to me, that makes so much more sense. And I think squeezy tube foundations might go here because some of them are too tall. Like this one is still too tall. And then bringing my face primers down here as well. I think I might get some of them to stand up. Let's see. Most of these though are actually squeezy tubes. Okay, that also I'm really happy with. 
Okay, so this is so much better, so much more spacious. I have my squeezy tube primers here, the ones that have the droppers here, my tinted ones like my e.l.f. and my Maybelline are here, and then my e.l.f. primers are here, and then up here I have all of my foundations and the squeezy tubes are over to the side. Which leads me right back up to where we started the first drawer, but I decided I want to do eyebrows, eyeliners, and mascaras here. I think that makes the most sense. And so for a lot of these, these long ones are going to be the best fit. So let's see what we can do with this. I want to put eyebrow gels here because these tend to be shorter. And then eyebrow pencils can go in here. Here's an eye primer, an eyebrow powder, eye primer. I'm putting a backup back here. And then let's see how many eyeliners I can fit in here. So eyeliners can go in here and mascaras I'll put over to the side right here. Colored line, no, liquid liners here. We'll see if pencil liners can go here. <gasps> this drawer is so good also. So brow stuff is all over here. Pencil liners, liquid liners, and then mascaras over to the side. So here in the second drawer where I put the powders, we're redoing it. I'm gonna take these out and I'm going to do like my individual eyeshadows. I have so many super shot shadows from ColourPop. Let's get these out. Okay, so I'm imagining these guys are just some old organizers that I had from, I think, Target. I'm going to put these here. They're nice and long. Um, I'm trying to decide what the best direction to go with my Super Shock shadows are because, quite frankly, like, I have a lot. I'm, like, wondering. No, it's not space efficient. Let's see. Seeing where these would fit the best. Thinking maybe we can just lay them all out nice and flat here. And then I can do a double layer. That would make the most sense. Okay, I have a lot, you'll see, so. Fast forward. Do you guys remember these? These are from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collaboration years ago. I probably should declutter these, but I never can find the willpower to. Let's see. Ugh, am I able to squeeze it in? No, that's fine. I'll just put this here and then whatever doesn't fit in these can go here. But you can see, look at all of these ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I haven't used hardly like any of these. I'm trying to see where I can make these work. That'll go there. No, it doesn't. Oh no.
Okay, so I think this drawer is good for now. So I have super shocks, all of that you saw, and then I keep like my individual glitters and stuff right over here. I have my ColourPop color sticks, and also I have these from ColourPop. I am running out of these organizers. I might need to order some more off of Amazon, but we'll see how far we can get. So this, again, is eyes. I'm thinking of what the game plan is next because I do have a ton of lip products that need organized. I have two very chaotic lip drawers that I want to organize and I want to move these up I think below the eye stuff. So I'm just gonna throw all of these in a big box, transfer the face drawers lower, and see what we can do with the lips. I am low on organizers, so we'll see how this goes. you'll see because these drawers are deeper I can stand up the sprays so I have bronzers on one side and then I'm going to stand up the setting sprays and then the couple that are too tall which are these two I'm just gonna lay down okay so that opens up this drawer to organize some lip stuff. So my lip collection is kind of crazy, so this is going to be interesting. So let's start off with the liners, and I actually mixed up. I have some ColourPop cream gel eyeliners, so I'm going to go through and take out the eyeliners, like these guys, and put them with the eyeliner stuff. So let me peel these out real quick. these eyeliners let's see going to put in this one for now because it fits better okay so all of these are my drugstore lip liners so I'm just gonna push these back here now I have so many lip glosses so I've decided ColourPop lip glosses are going to go here. So I just need to organize them. Uh, so give me a second and let's see how it goes. Like these are all Morphe. This is ColourPop. And I have a lot more ColourPop lip glosses, mind you. So this is going to be something that I'm going to need to declutter eventually. I'm thinking I might just have to make this like a ColourPop drawer in general. So let's see. Because I have a lot of these as well, which are like lip sets that are so cute. And then I'm going to get the So Glassy and Fresh Kiss. I'm gonna try and organize these. I want to keep the ones that are square out of an organizer because they won't roll around and the ones that are round will stay in the organizer. So 
as of now, when I do have more lip products to go through, the So Glassy lip glosses, which are my favorite, are right here. I have my round Lux lip oils here, and then I have my Fresh Kiss lip lacquers and glossy stains, but we'll see how much I have left. I'm going to dig my other ColourPop stuff out of a different drawer that I have here. I've come back with more ColourPop lip formulas. So let's see, I have more Fresh Kiss. I'm just organizing the formulas right now because there's so many Fresh Kiss items. So all of these square packaging, this is so nice because I'm able to see the formula. Um, what I'm going to do is try and turn this so that these don't fall. Yeah, that's better. It has to be organized this way. And then I'll put these back here to keep them nice and tight. Yes, okay, I'm very, very happy with this so far. And as this continues to grow, I can always push it back and have another layer. Um, I do have a few more formulas. Oh, here, this can go here. This way. I'm gonna squeeze these just a tint right here. And then these glowing lip balms, which are my favorite from ColourPop. I'm gonna pop here. And then the last formula that I have from ColourPop are, well, I have this random liquid lip. I'm gonna throw this here, but I have the lipsticks. So I also have this lipstick set that I'm gonna squeeze here and then pop the very few bullet lipsticks that I have right here. And, ooh, that is so satisfying. This is officially my ColourPop lip drawer. Lip liners, lip sets, my Fresh Kiss and lip glosses, Lux lip oils and lip glosses, Just a Tints, Glowing Lips, and my actual bullet lipsticks. So I am very, very happy we've re reorganized this way. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm running out of organizers that I need, so I just placed another order on Amazon. It's same-day delivery, so I'll finish this tomorrow. All right, we are back. I ordered more drawer organizers. It took longer than I thought, so it's been a few days. But now, my nails look a lot better, <laughs> and we got to get back to this organization because look at this mess. Hot Mess Express. I don't even know how I plan to organize it. I have this drawer down below here, which is empty, so I might carry these here, and I have a plan. I think we're gonna have to switch some things around, but let's put, like, gosh, I don't even know. I'm gonna look for liquid lipsticks, and that wasn't even a liquid lipsticks, but lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, and I'm going to throw these into here, and then I want to move glosses down here I think I don't even know if we'll use this but I think we're going to will these fit standing up
to start figuring this out. I have lip liners here. I'm going to push these towards the back. And actually, in my ColourPop drawer, I have a number of lip liners that aren't from ColourPop that I threw in here before I thought for this to be a dedicated ColourPop drawer. So I'll do that at a different time. But just so you know, lip liners are going to go here. And I guess we'll start off with liquid lipsticks that since those are super matte okay i don't know what way slash order i'm doing this so bear with me um i don't know if i want to do it by brand or size but i'm just going for all of my liquid lipsticks so let's start throwing these in and see what happens I'm also going to start filling this drawer with my normal lipsticks. Like I have a lot of these Milani, so that way I can see them all. So I'm also gonna do this on the side to put in whatever drawer it's going to best fit in. Okay, so I have for sure underestimated my liquid lipstick drawer. Wow. But anyways, this is all of my liquid lipsticks. I kind of organize them somewhat by brand, but of course we have random brands. I have Chic Me, Alter Ego, Morphe, my Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks, which I love, NYX in the back, e.l.f. These are just random short ones that fit here and then more random ones. So I think that's good for this drawer. It's not overloaded. And let's see what I can do with my lipsticks and lip glosses. I really don't have that many drugstore lip glosses, I feel like. So let's see if we can fit the lip glosses in here. The lifter glosses might be able to get their own space. Maybe not, because they don't stand up either. These need a long one as well. And then what I have left in terms of lips is this. So I gotta figure out how I want to do these. This drawer ended up working out better than I thought. So I have my Milani lipsticks here, which is one of my favorites. And then these are the rest of my drugstore lipsticks, like Bullet. I have more lip balmy style products. These are my stick style lipsticks. And then drugstore lip glosses here. And I feel like we definitely have some growing room if I want. I mean, this is pretty intense. Three different drawers of lip products. The ColourPop is absolutely insane but that's good for now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my drawer of shame. Drawers, actually, plural. So this is the set that I am completely reorganizing, but actually over here, I want to put some cheek products. So I have two drawers. The drawers of shame, AKA the palettes that I have that I've never ever used. 
pretty embarrassing, right? So I actually have somewhere else in my collection that I'm going to keep these. So I'm just going to pull these out. And I think it's somewhat cohesive because up here I actually keep face palettes. These are high-end face palettes. And then these are my affordable face palettes. So underneath my affordable face palettes, I'm thinking of keeping some cheek products to leave breathing room in the drawer. So let me pull, not this drawer, let me pull these out. Okay. So I've made the executive decision to make these drawers cream cheek products, I think. So I already actually put away my cream blushes, highlights, and bronzers, but we're going to move them over here. So we're doing a little bit of reorganization here. So here's some more cream bronzers. Let me pull up my cream blushes. And a mixture of cream blush and highlights. I know. What an actual mess. <laughs> I think, is that all? No, it actually isn't. I'll show you in a second. So we'll do cream highlights. And now I can separate my cream highlights from my cream blushes because they're kind of mixed. But I want contours. I want blushes in the center. And then I want highlight over here. So I'll do these guys in pots. We'll push this back. We'll do it like that. And here are my squeezy blushes, stick blushes, elf blushes, and all of the contours. And then here are the highlights. Now what I need to figure out what I'm doing is with these guys right here. Because this is a mixture of all cream blushes, highlights, all of that. I'm thinking maybe this can go in a drawer below to keep it by brand. Yeah, let's do that. So, we'll start off with contours out here. Do these stand up? Oh, that would make a lot more sense to do it that way then, actually. I'm debating if I want to squeeze these back here, but that makes them less accessible, so I don't think we'll do that. We'll stand up the contours against here. And Which, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably was smarter to flip these over so I could see the names. So let's do that now. gonna press these in here and honestly this drawer I might just leave to hold and grow more things because we've got to move back down because I have a lot of other drawers to refill now so we've moved all of the cream products let me show you what we're looking like this drawer was unaffected but so in here I had my cream bronzers as well this drawer is kind of empty ish but I think I'm just going to leave it this way, honestly. Maybe, we'll see. But this drawer is definitely going to be my blush drawer because you see over here, I have stuff that still needs to put away. Come in closer. So I've already kind of organized this one. This is my ColourPop heart blush drawer. So cute. I have a few more since I just launched more, so I'm going to put some in here. Okay, that fits perfectly. Okay, and then Kimchi Chic actually has some heart-shaped ones as well. I'm just gonna push back here. And these are actually highlighters, but yeah, I'm gonna keep them with the highlighters. So that leaves this awkward little strip. I guess I'm going to keep this for storage for now, just additional space. We'll do it like that. 
And I do think it makes sense in that case then to put highlighters back here because honestly I can't stand these rolling and I don't have too many drugstore highlighters. So this is my entire drugstore highlighter collection. I'm going to organize this better. So I think in that case then, since I don't care too much for drugstore setting sprays, I'm just going to push the drugstore setting sprays towards the back. Okay, yes, in my head this is making sense. And then we'll put the highlighters here. I'm just trying to see container-wise what's going to fit, which is fine. Maybe I could just like that. No, these are going to fall. These need to be flat. I'm just going to push them back here. You know, ColourPop did just launch these, but in different packaging, because this is kind of obnoxious packaging. <laughs> okay, I just put those back there because I could not stand that. Whatever. And then we'll do highlights over here. This one's more like a blush, wouldn't you say? Let's put it down here. Okay, I think that's the best we're gonna do. It's a little mismatch because we have bronzers here and here, but these are all of my drugstore highlighters, which is in a ton, so this fits perfectly. And I think that is everything that I'm gonna do. I have lots of room for growth, I feel like. That was the setting spray falling. Yeah, these are just falling all over, which that was kind of to be expected, so it's fine. Uh, and I think I'm well organized. Okay, let me show you everything in every drawer. Okay guys, final tour of my drugstore makeup collection. So here is like brows and eyeliners and mascara. This for me makes sense. It's all of the pencil stuff. So we have eyebrow gel, primers, and some weird eyebrow stuff. Eyebrow pencils, eyeliners, mascaras, and then we have more eyeliners, like pencil liners, in the back. The next drawer, ooh, this is a good drawer. We have all of like my individual eye products. So I have eye sticks, pigments, I have some kits in the front, some glitters and pots. All of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows are back here. I think maybe in the future, next time I reorganize, I might just want to have a whole dedicated ColourPop section where it's only ColourPop stuff. So that might be in the future after I move. And then here is all of my ColourPop lip products. Pretty intense. Here is all of my liquid lipsticks. Super satisfying. I will go back and reorganize my lip liners, but we have somewhat ordered by specific brands, but more so I would say by packaging size. And then if you go over here to the second drawer, I showed you, remember, I have face palettes up top. Then here I have my cream bronzers, blushes, and highlights for when I want to do a cream look. And then in this next drawer has room to grow, but for now... I just have these guys from She Glam. Traveling down, I have my lipsticks and lip glosses. So Milani is in the back because I just have so many colors. Bullet lipsticks, lipstick sticks, some lip balmish products, and then my drugstore lipstick, or no, drugstore lip gloss collection. Then down here, I have my complexion products. So we have primers in the back. These are my colored kind of glowy primers. I have my foundations in the front. So these are more like the tube products. And then I have the actual bottled foundations. Then the next drawer, I have concealers, powders, and powder foundation. So obviously, Concealers are over here. I have some color correctors here as well, setting powders and foundation powders.
And the next drawer down, you saw me just reorganize these. Again, it gets not the best organization, but I know what I'm working with here. So setting sprays are in the back, powder bronzers, and then powder highlighters are right here. And then finally, the very last drawer. This is the most beautiful drawer for me uh, of my blushes. So I have a huge ColourPop blush selection here and then the rest of my affordable blushes. So that is everything that is in these drugstore makeup drawers. And I love it. I'm really excited now to start digging in here again. I feel re-inspired to do some drugstore looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. I'm worried. I don't think it was very smart of me to do this before I moved. Whatever. It's more organized now and I've been wanting to do this. So anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.